Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to use cursors in the MySQL database. Let's start by looking at the entity relationship diagram. I have seven tables in my database right now, but in this tutorial, we'll mostly be working with the property table. Let's run a select query where we select the property name, property county, and size in acres from the property table and limit the output to five records. Here we got the output in a table format, but say our requirement was to get the output in a comma separated version format. To accomplish that, we're gonna use cursors. Let's open the SQL file and look at the code. We start by setting the delimiter to dollar dollar so it doesn't interfere with semicolon, which is used for regular SQL statements. Use the create function function name syntax followed by the returns keyword and the data type of what this function will return. Deterministic keyword implies the characteristic of this function. The meat of this function is defined between the begin and the end markers. Here I'm using the declare keyword to declare bunch of variables. For the properties variable, I'm setting a default value of empty string and for the done variable, the default value is zero. CUR is the cursor variable, which will be used for the select query. V underscore done is the handler variable, which will be set to one when the cursor reaches the end of the table. Next, we open the cursor and label the loop properties underscore loop. Inside the loop, we fetch the cursor into the property underscore name property underscore county, and property underscore size in acre variables. Next, we have the if else block. If the done variable is set to one, then leave the loop. Else, set the properties variable to the concatenated value of property name, county, and size in acres. I'm using the end keyword to end the if block and the loop block. Use close CUR to close the cursor, followed by the return keyword where I'm returning the concatenated value of v underscore properties variable. At the end of the file, we reset the delimiter back to semicolon. Let's take a quick look at the MySQL alias. I'm using the config file to pass in the authentication details. To execute the create function SQL file, input it to the MySQL alias. Use the show function status keyword to check the status of your function. And if you want to look at the definition, use the show create function function name syntax. To call the get underscore properties function, use the select statement. Here you can see the output was formatted in a comma separated version format. Finally, if you wanted to drop this function, use the drop function function name syntax. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.